And now, your starting lineups. to just step up in the action and gets their offense rolling, but is also dependent on if Madison Runnebaum can stay out of foul trouble. One of the bigger storylines for her this season has been the issue she has when it comes to fouling as the, well, the team overhaul much better than they have been in previous years. The tip goes the way of the Abilene Cowboys and we're now under Ray driving down into the paint. It's gonna be stout and they're gonna say she stepped out of bounds. Good defense coming in from McKenna Miniman, forcing Stout to go baseline, and then she steps down as she was trying to kick it out. So it's a turnover, and here comes Marysville. Eva Peschel taking the basketball up across half court, gonna pass it out to Raider now, who has it. Raider over to Ashlyn Price, who now kicks it back to Peschel, and they go down low to Madison Runnebaum, and they draw the foul on her. Good perimeter passing coming in from the Marysville Bulldogs as they're able to find the advantageous matchup down low for Madison Runnebaum, who's gonna be able to draw the foul. The first free throw rattles in for Runnebaum. One for one on the night so far. Her first points, the foul going to go against looks like Clara Danifer. It's her first foul tonight, two for two when it comes to the free throw attempt. So that's two quick points for Madison Runnebaum. Gonna pass the ball up now to Fanny Stout. Stout with the basketball. Guarded by Miniman's gonna kick it back out to the wing. It's gonna be Clements. Clements gonna kick it now down low into a nice wide open Lexi Barnes who is in for the basketball game. Over, wide open three coming in from Sammy Stout, way too far out. The offensive rebound gonna go the way of the Cowboys, setting up their offense yet again. Good play coming in from Jenna Hayes to keep the basketball alive for Abilene. Stout gonna kick it now out to Clemens, who looking to drive on Bella Raider. Elaney Schaefer, who is in the game right now for Marysville. The big deep three coming yet again from the Cowboys. No good. Rebounder on the side of Marysville being Madison Runnebaum. The kick now up to Laney Schaefer, who steps into a wide open three off the front iron. No good, but good hustle coming in on the side of McKenna Miniman to get the rebound. 
Runnebaum with it. It's going to hand it off to Peschel. Peschel tries to drive into the lane, but gets it batted off her foot, but finds a wide open Madison Runnebaum for her second basket on the night. What a great assist coming in from Eva Peschel, able to find Madison Runnebaum yet again wide open down low. Currently cooking two for two on the night to start the game for Miss Runnebaum. The shot is blocked at the point of attack by Eva Peschel. It was a good look coming in on the side of Lexi Barnes. She's just unable to get above Eva Peschel, and that's a block, the first one of the game. On the perimeter, we're looking to go here. Peschel now with it, gonna kick it down low into Bella Rader, who goes up strong with the basketball. No good, but it's gonna get an offensive rebound to Laney Schaefer and a wide open minimum three. No good yet again, and it's gonna fall out of play. Abilene basketball now. Lots of good looks coming in on the side of the Bulldogs. Really doing a lot of good outside perimeter passing to try to break down this zone coming in on the side of the Cowboys. So far, it's, it's worked really well in terms of getting it down low into the paint. It's the steal almost coming in from Madison Runnebaum, but a good oh! rebound coming in from Tamara Danifer, who was able to collect the off-balanced, excuse me, Madison Runnebaum to get her first points on the night for Danifer. Uh, Second foul coming though in for Clara Danifer, so she'll have to go to the bench. Checking in for number 10, Grace Randall. So Grace out. Randall subbing in now for the side of the Cowboys. As a pass almost gets intercepted, Schaefer's able to get it, but they're gonna call it travel on Laney. Schaefer had the nice wide open play to Peschel, but if it wasn't for that darn travel, it could have gotten another point for the Bulldogs. Hayes going to pass it now into Clements. Back to Hayes, who's going to take it now up the court. Going to try to kiss it forward, and Madison Runnebaum steals the ball from the pass. And then a steal on the other side coming in on the Cowboys. Great defensive play coming in from Joy Clements. Sticking behind Miniman, so when she looked to pass the forward, or the ball, excuse me, forward, Able to get her hands on it and force the steal. They're coming to the shot from Bathurst is no good. Rebounded by Eva Peschel. Bathurst reaching for a foul. Here is Joy Clements. Joy Clements with her first foul tonight. The third team foul coming in on the side of Abilene. Currently 4-2 is the lead for the Bulldogs with 4.32 left to go here in the first quarter. Peschel with the basketball. Going to kick it around the outside to Miniman. They're going to find somebody open. One dribble over to Schaefer. Back to Miniman. Around the world we go to a driving in. Eva Peschel for the nice easy layup. For the first points on the night for Eva Peschel. So the lead now balloons the 6-2 to two on the side of the Bulldogs. And kick it down low into the paint to Grace Randall. Randall's driving on Madison Runnebaum, who gets the ball knocked out of her hand, so he's going the other way. Great defense coming in on the side of the Bulldogs and Madison Runnebaum, forcing the turnover from Grace Randall's. Subbing in now is going to be Bella Rader, as well as Taylor Meyer for Marysville. Down low into Runnebaum, who goes from a nice 10-footer, no good off the back iron, rebounded on the side of the Cowboys. First rebound for Grace Randalls, who's gonna dish it off to Bathurst, who now hits it in a corner for her wide open three, no good, rebounded by Ashlyn Price. Price, gonna kick it, trying to kick it down low into Runnebaum, into a triple team. It's gonna be a turnover for the Bulldogs. Good hands coming in from Joyce Clements. Able to get her hands on the pass going in, and their foul is going to be called on Ashlyn Price. Her first tonight. Subbing now in is Haley Eagles. Eagles. Madison Runnebaum goes to the bench to get some rest for the first time tonight. She's been very good so far. Four quick points, two for two from the field. They're going to kick it into the corner. Now to Hayes with a four-point lead for Marysville. And another turnover coming in on the side of the Cowboys. Going on more opportunities for Marysville to take control. 
Bella Raider gonna take it up the court now on the side of the Bulldogs. Now over to Eva Peschel. Stephanie Max get this offense reset up. Moving to the right side of the wing, kicking it to Bella Raider. Jab steps and she's gonna defer it. Inside to a wide open Ashland Price. Free throw jumper is good. That is Price's first points on the night. So far tonight, eight for two is the eight and two is the lead for the Bulldogs as lots of players are getting into the scoring action tonight for Marysville. Driving to the lane, kicking it down low, but good defense yet again coming in the side. The Bulldogs collectively are able to almost undo draw a turnover. As here comes Bella Raider driving it up to court now. Kicks it over to Taylor Meyer. Back over to Bella Raider, who's gonna slow it down now and try to dissect this 3-2 zone coming in on the side of the Cowboys. Down low to Price, tries to go up with the shot. No good, deflected, but it picks up an Eva Peschel lucky chance over to Raider, who shoots her first three, no good. And they're saying it's off the hands of Taylor Meyer. Big substitution coming out of the side of the Cowboys. Coming to check in, Callie Powell. Lexi Barnes as well checking back in, as well as, I think we're trying to get one more name, Renata Heights checking in is also Madison Runnebaum checking in on the side of the Bulldogs. As they changed their position, it actually was last touched by the Cowboys, so Marysville gets another offensive opportunity. Raiders thought about a three-pointer, but decides to go away from it. Meyer now with the basketball. Sets it back over to Bella Raider, who looks to set this offense up. Over to Peschel, to a wide open Taylor Meyer, who shoots her three off the back iron. Good rebound coming out on the side of Joy Clement. Clements. I get my tongue in a twister here in the first game. Peschel. Good defense on Lexi Barnes, as Barnes is gonna have to defer it over to Randles. Randles back to Clements, who is looking to drive into the lane, but gets called for the traveling foul violation. So another turnover, eight to two, the lead for Marysville with 1.17 left to go here in the first quarter. The pass to Meyer in the corner, down low into Runabom. Turnaround jumper, no good, blocked at the point of attack by Grace Randles. Looking to set now up the offense. On the side of the bull box. Welcome back, it's eight to two the lead for the Marysville Bulldogs. As they currently hold the advantage early on top against the Abilene Cowboys. Gonna kick it to the left side of the three-point line, and it rattles in. Jenna Haynes getting her first basket on the night. For Abilene, first three, and now it's an eight to five lead. The shot coming in on the side of Marysville, no good, but good offensive rebound for Madison Runnebaum. Can't get it to go on the second attempt, but she'll get drawn for the over the back foul. First personal foul on the night for Runnebaum. Samantha Stout now checking in on the side of the Cowboys. Jenna Haynes leading the way so far for Abilene with three points following her lone attempt. And a great defensive possession coming in from Eva Peschel to get the block, but rebounded and pushed forward on the side of the Cowboys, but another turnover as Lexi Barnes gets called for the travel. 21 seconds left to go here in the first quarter. Raider with the basketball, has time to get the last shot off. Gonna pass it to Meyer, into the corner of Eva Peschel, who tries to go down inside to run a bomb into a double team but it gets deflected out of bounds by the Cowboys. So setting up an inbounds play comes even Peschel and the Marysville Bulldogs. Peschel looking to find somebody open, still trying, running out of time, is able to find Raider. Raider steps and fires. No good, almost gets her own miss, but defensively rebounded by Grace Randles with five seconds left. Here comes Jenna Hayes now guarded by Haley Ingles, going for the shot, no good. And that'll do it for the end of the first quarter. Marysville up eight to five against the Abilene Cowboys. Three PPA in Marysville. Cowboys doing a much better job defensively down low to negate 
the force that is Madison Runnebaum down low. Schaefer now to Peschel in the corner who looks to drive in the baseline but gets called for a travel. Forcing the turnover. That's turnover number 25 on the year for Eva Peschel who leads the team. Here comes a two-on-two -two break coming in. Sammy Stout, who checked back in recently with the basketball, kicks it over to Jenna Hayes, all the way across the court to a nice driving Powell. But gets called yet again for another travel violation. A turnover for the Cowboys. Still trailing eight to five here early of the second quarter. 7.40 left to go. Peschel gonna, excuse me, not Peschel, Bella Raider who checked back in, slowly taking the basketball up the court now for the Bulldogs. Over to Eva Peschel. Peschel, reached the corner to Laney Schaefer. Tries to find some separation from her defender. Good defense coming in from Randles, but the pass almost gets intercepted by Sammy Stouts. He gets it pushed out of bounds, it's still Marysville ball, but risky pass coming in from Bella Raider. Almost got Caught in the trap here as Raider driving to the paint, kicks it to a wide open Madison. What about it? Is able to keep her third basket on the night. Six total points coming in for the senior. Hayes with the basketball now at the top of the three point line. A five point deficit for the Cowboys. What a great shot fake coming in on the side of Alice Bathurst, but can't get it going as she gets the ball turned over. And, and the ball gets turned over again again on the other side. Back-to-back -back turnovers from both teams as the basketball now falls in the hands of Powell, who dishes it to Randles. Randles passes it to a driving Joy Clements, but she has to dish, dish it out as Eva Peschel was there defensively. Big kick to the right corner now to Powell, who tries to get it down low into Stout. But Bella Raider was there to stop and intercept that pass, but it will go out of bounds, so it'll still be Cowboys ball. But a big substitution coming in for Marysville, McKenna Miniman and Bruno O'Neill subbing in for the Bulldogs. Clements to Hayes in the corner, who tries to get it down low into the paint to Randles. She's able to collect the miss, but no good on the shot. It rattles in and out. Here comes another Marysville opportunity up five. 10 to five is their lead. 6.14 left to go here in the second quarter. Raider with the basketball is gonna kick it into O'Neal in the corner. Back over to Ashlyn Price, who hands it to Miniman. Quick pass over to Bella Raider. Guarded by Stout. Across court to Bryn O'Neill, who sets and fires off the back iron, and it's gonna be rebounded on the side of Sammy Stout. And here comes the Cowboys now with the basketball. Handed it off now to Jenna Hayes. Who tries to hand it off to Stout and almost gets the turned over. He's able to recollect it and get it to a teammate. Hayes now with the basketball. Hayes. And the drive on Ashlyn Price. Hayes much bigger than Price. Can't do much, so has to dish it out. Randles, now to Hayes, and a timeout has to be called as they were running out of time. But the shot did go in before the timeout, or after the timeout, excuse me, so it's still a 10 to five lead. Marysville up top over Abilene. Marysville currently has a 10 to five lead over the Abilene Cowboys in the first game back following the Christmas break. 5.28 left to go here in the second quarter. It's an inbounds play for the Cowboys. Hayes passes it down low into Stout. Excuse me, it was Bathurst. Alice Bathurst, who subbed into the game, gets her first points on the night, and the lead has been cut down to three points. It's a 10 to seven lead now for the Bulldogs as Runabon goes up with a strong layup down low for her fourth basket of the night. Eight total points for the senior. Gonna kick it into the corner to Barnes and around the perimeter we go. Sammy Stout now has it, guarded by Bella Raider who is still in the basketball game. Eva Peschel on the bench with Lamy Schaefer getting some rest. As the offense is getting set up here, Alice Bathurst passes the ball over to Stout, over now to Barnes who's looking to drive on one about it, can't find anything, has to give it up. To Jenna Hayes, great defensive effort coming in from Marysville to thwart any opportunity for Abilene. This possession, a step back, wide open, three coming in and made for Alice Bathurst, who was just wide open. 
It was good play on the side of Marysville, and then all of a sudden, Bathurst just stepped back for a wide open three, and nobody was around to stop her. So it's now a two point lead for the Bulldogs, up 12 to 10. Cross court to Raider now, looking to drive inside the paint. Tries to find something, and there's a foul on the floor. The foul is going to be called. Alice Bathurst, who gets her first foul tonight. That was the fourth team foul on the side of Abilene. Peschel and Miniman now sub in as Bella Raider is going to get some time on the bench to relax and get some oxygen in. The three-point coming in from Peschel, no good, off of two Marysville Bulldogs hands and rebounded by Abilene. Stout now kicks it out to the right corner where Powell is sitting, excuse me, Clements is sitting. Clements gets the screen from Hayes, passes it now over to Hayes who sets and fires her first three. No good, strong rebound from Madison, what a bomb. To give Marysville another opportunity as they currently are leading by two, 12 to 10 with 3.13 left to go here in quarter number two. O'Neill passes to Miniman across the perimeter we go, Peschel now with it. Peschel picks her dribble up and passes it down to Ashlyn Price. Now Miniman steps into a wide open three off the back iron, rebounded by Mc Madison Runabon, who then goes up strong for the second chance opportunity. Five points total now. Excuse me, 10 points total now for Madison Runabon. Five for five from the floor. Now with a two point lead coming in on the side of the Bulldogs. Alice Bathurst subbing out as well as Joy Clement, so coming in on the side of coming in on the side studio of the Cowboys is Lexi Barnes. Stout in the right corner with the basketball. Kicks it to Hayes now at the wing. Hayes trying to get some, finds a screen from Stout, looking to drive in, and we get the offensive charge. Jenna Hayes blowed right over McKenna Miniman, and Miniman was in the right place at the right, right time. Getting the charge call. Had the feet set properly, got ran right into and draws the foul from Jenna Hayes. And now Marysville looking to continue its nice strong offensive. Last couple of possessions, excuse me, up 14 to 10. The pass down low, it's a Lady Schaefer too strong on the on the shot. A great rebound from Madison Runabom, who was able to get yet another second chance opportunity. And she delivers. Now a six point lead for Marysville. It was two just a few short minutes ago and now it's slowly but steadily creeping further ahead for Marysville. Jenna Hayes with the basketball, cross court to Sammy Stout, who unfortunately couldn't reach up for it. A very high pass from Jenna, from Jenna Hayes. Sammy Stout only sits at 5'3", Hayes at 5'11", so there's quite a big difference. Another unforced error coming in from the Abilene Cowboys leading to another possession for the Bulldogs. Cross court now over to Peschel, looks to drive into the lane, kicks it to Raider, steps and fires her three off the back iron, and it's rebounded on the side of Grace Randles. So here comes Stout yet again. It was again another good look from Marysville and Baylor Raider in the opening of the three-point line, and he's not falling home. Stout with the basketball, shoots her three. That off the front iron, rebounded by McKenna Miniman. So far tonight, it's really been a struggle, but hold that thought. Two on one to break as Lainey Schaefer unfortunately tried to get the bounce pass into Madison Runabom. It was an advantageous run break for the Bulldogs. Unfortunately, Schaefer bounces it off the front foot of what I believe to be Lexi Barnes. It'll fall out of play, but Marysville still retains possession. Peschel looking to drive baseline, can't do so, has to kick it. Raider driving into the paint and stops, but gets the travel called on her. She was looking to drive it to the paint, but unfortunately her feet couldn't stop her momentum. And a cap now subbing it, and it does so. A turnover for Marysville as Jenna Hayes now subs back in on the side of Abilene. Cap subbing in for the first time tonight with 119 left to go here in quarter number two. A six point lead for the Bulldogs. Barnes. Kicks it over to Stout now. 
who's guarded by Bella Raiders. Done a fantastic job tonight against Stout, and I say that as Stout drives right past her, kicks to an open Jenna Hayes, who looks to drive in, but gets the pass stolen by Bella Raider. Raider with the hands defensively able to pop the steal away. Now 53 seconds left. In the paint to Schaefer, who goes up for the shot and draws the foul down low in the paint. We're going to go shoot some free throws now. So far tonight, Madison Lennelbaum, the only player to shoot free throws, going two for two from the line. Laney Schaefer with her first shot, no good. Oh, for one. Alice Bathurst now checking back in on the Cowboys following her brief injuries. Schaefer. Nails the second one, one for two. That's her first points tonight. Laney Schaefer is in the starting lineup. The pass almost gets intercepted. A risky play coming in from the Cowboys, but driving now is Lexi Barnes on the sideline. Good defense from Ashlyn Price in the pass coming in from Barnes is no good out of bounds. Another turnover for Abilene, and the lead is slowly but steadily starting to balloon more and more. It's now seven points is the lead for the Bulldogs, 17 to 10. 33 seconds left to go, so Marysville might get the last shot here. Peschel driving inside the paint, kicks it to Price, who tries to shoot for three and gets it blocked by Lexi Barnes. It'll still stay with the Bulldogs, but good defensive effort coming in from the much taller Lexi Barnes sitting at 5'10". Against Ashlyn Price. Raider to Peschel, into the corner now goes Maddie Cap. Peschel, around the perimeter we go. Raider, back to Peschel. Peschel now driving inside the paint, finds Maddie Cap wide open. She's gonna kick it to Raider now with eight seconds on the clock. Back to Cap, Cap to Raider. Raider driving with no time left, goes up with an ill-contested shot, no good, and that'll do it here for the second quarter. Wow, what a sequence of events. Marysville could have gotten into half with an even bigger lead. But a couple of blunders offensively on that last possession, leave them still with the seven point lead, 17 to 10. Opening tip off went the way of Marysville, so Abilene will get the second half started. Trailing seven points as Sammy Stout's gonna kick it over to Hayes. Hayes, in love driving, picks her dribble up and kicks it over to Clements. Clements guarded by Laney Schaefer. Starting lineup for Marysville, currently in Runabom, Schaefer, Price, Heschel, as well as Miniman. Kenna Miniman now with it. Tries to go down low inside to run a bomb and gets the ball turned over. So here come the Cowboys. Stout with it in the right side of the wing. We're gonna kick it now out to Jenna Hayes. Trying to get the offense set up. This is it to Joy Clements. Clements down low into Stout, goes up for the shot and gets fouled from her attempt. That's first foul of the night. McKenna Miniman is the first team foul of this half, as well as the first foul for Miniman tonight. Still a 17-10 lead for the Bulldogs as Stout's first free throw goes in. It's the first points of the night for Sammy Stout. The second one is no good battling off the iron, but great offensive rebound coming in on the side of Abilene to potentially set up an opportunity, but it gets immediately blown away, literally as Joy Clements throws it out of bounds over the outreaching hand of Clara Danifer. So it's now a six point lead for the Cowboys, 17 to 11. Just start here of the third quarter, 7.05. You're just tuning in, it's the Madison Runabomb Show, currently with a team in game high 17 points as the ball gets tipped out of bounds. 12 points, two for two from the free throw line, a team and a game high. Next closest competitor is Alice Bathurst with her five. The shot is no good and we're gonna get a jump ball. It will fall the way of Marysville, so they'll try this off once again on the inbounds. So far, the Cowboys doing a much better job of containing Madison Runabom. She's been unable to really have the impact she did in the first half. Here early in the second half. Peschel with the nice floater on the baseline. Gets her second basket on the night. Now four total points for Eva Peschel. It's an eight-point lead for Marysville. 19 to 11 now. 
going to kick it into the corner to Lexi Barnes. Now to Stout. Around the perimeter we go to the right side with Hayes, who passes it down low into Barnes, who goes up for the shot. No good. Rebounded by Madison Runabout. Looked like a good opportunity for the Cowboys. The shot just didn't go in, following many good passes to finding open players. Heschel with the basketball. Finds Runabout at the free throw line. Going to kick it to a wide open Laney Shea for three, and it's no good. Rebounded by Barnes. We then find Sammy Stout. Another good look offensively for Marysville, finding a wide open Laney Schaefer who just couldn't get the ball to fall through, and the shot coming in from Barnes, no good. Last touch by a Bulldog. So he'll still stay down low for an inbounds play from Abilene. So far tonight, it's been a defensive battle between either side, not really being able to get anything going offensively as the shot coming in from Lexi Barnes is good. Excuse me, Claire Danifer there sneaking in to get another basket. That is her, her second, or her first basket, her third total point. She went one for two from the free throw line earlier. It's now a six point lead for the Bulldogs as a timeout looks to be being taken on the side of Amy Renier. And she's trying to get something going. It's a six point lead for the Marysville Bulldogs over Abilene, 19 to 13, with 5.51 left to go here in the third quarter. Only one foul being committed so far this half alone. It falling on the side of Marysville. Peschel kicks it over to Schaefer now on the wing. Back to Peschel, who looks to set it up offensively for the Bulldogs. Peschel picks her dribble up and has to find somebody quickly. Is able to find McKenna Miniman. Dishes it to Lady Schaefer in the corner. Around the perimeter we go. Trying to break down the zone. Good drive in in the paint to Eva Peschel, but she can't get the shot to fall. Bounces off the front iron. So here comes Abilene. The pass up to Joy Clements, who's going to kick it now to Stout in the corner. Sammy Stout tries to get it down low into Jenna Hayes, and it is no good. A good steal coming in from McKenna Miniman. Her and Bella Raider tonight have been very, very active in the passing lanes, disrupting anything Abilene wants to do. Get some sort of momentum going on their side. Miniman with the basketball now, under five minutes left to go in the third quarter. Laney Schaefer wide open three. Rattles in and out, oh my gosh, but a good offensive rebound from Eva Peschel to find Schaefer wide open yet again. Second time the charm, no. Rebounded by Runabout who goes up with it and gets the end. Good rebounding coming in on the side of Marysville to keep this offensive stretch alive. The second foul for Lexi Barnes. Runabom going to the line. She's a perfect two for two so far. Make it three for three for 15 points. And then here's an interesting stat that I had found. When it comes to offensive rebounds, it was of course being led by Madison Runabom, but second on the team is Eva Peschel with now 13 offensive rebounds and probably 14 tonight if I remember correctly. So doing a good job to give Marysville second chance opportunities on the glass. 22-13 is the lead as we're gonna have a carry coming in on the side of the Cowboys, another turnover for them. Marysville's lead starting to balloon more and more. It's 22-13 now with 4.34 left to go here in the third quarter. Peschel with the basketball, finds Bryn O'Neill who subbed in and so has Bella Raider. Raider picks dribble up, finds O'Neill now. Inside to Madison Runabom on a one-on-one -on -one recovery. Just one drives in on Clara Danifer and gets another basket, 17 total points for Madison Runabom. And the steal almost coming in from Bryn O'Neill. A timeout has to be taken on the side of the Cowboys as they're in bad position. And we'll take a timeout as well with Marysville leading 24-13. They outscore their opponents 63-38 in the second quarter. But so far tonight's been the third quarter in which they've outscored their opponents as the pass goes way over to a wide open Clara Danifer who gets the foul drawn on her from Madison Runabom. It's the second foul from Runabom in the game. Actually, it's Eva Peschel who gets called for the foul. So Claire and Danifer are going to go back to the line. The first one is no good from Danifer, who's 0 for 1 now on the night.
Hannifer has four total points. Going to stay at four. She misses the second. Another offensive rebound coming in from Joy Clement to keep the Cowboys' possession alive. Down low into Danifer, who kicks it into the corner. Clement with her three. In and out. Rebounded on by Stout, who finds in Danifer again and draws another foul. Good hustle coming in from the Cowboys to keep their offensive possession oh, alive. Raider. Bella Raider getting her first personal foul tonight. So Danifer will go back to the line yet again after going 0 for 2 just like 10 seconds ago. So we'll see if she gets it better this time. The first one rattles in. Now 1 for 3 for 5 points coming in from Clara Danifer. Second one rattles in and out, and again rebounded on the side of the Cowboys. Jenna Hayes, we're gonna drive into a double team, kicks it, Clements with a three. That one rattles in and out off the front iron, rebounded by Peschel. You can already see Amy Renier standing up, not too excited about that couple of events from the free throw line as lots of offensive rebounds coming in. It didn't, it didn't get to anything too dramatic. But that is something Coach does not want to see. O'Neal with her first three in point of the night. No good. Rebounded by Peschel again. Raider with her three. No good. And offensively rebounded for a second time from Bryn O'Neal. Good effort from the Bulldogs to keep this possession alive. Down low into Price who shoots the nice free throw line. Jumper. And it rattles in for her fourth point tonight for Ashlyn Price. Pass almost gets intercepted. Nice full court pressure coming in from the Bulldogs currently have a 12 point lead, 26-14, as the ball will go out of bounds. Marysville will gain control as we'll see Haley Ingles in the Meyer will sub in, as well as Callie Powell, Alice Bathurst as well for Abilene. Looks like they've transitioned now to a 2-3 zone to try to stop Madison Runnebaum down low. Noticing that Marysville has been inefficient from the three-point lines, so they've switched it up to stop Runnebaum from just dismantling them down low. Baffert with the basketball, looking to drive it to a double team. It'll get the ball stolen, but it rattles out of bounds. Still stay Abilene ball. Good effort coming in from Bryn O'Neill, who almost caught Alice Bathurst. Napping and Bryn O'Neill gets the steal yet again, but she steps out of bounds. Bryn O'Neill being active on the defensive side of the floor, disrupting the passing lanes for a second straight possession. Jenna Hayes checks in as Clara Danifer is going to get some breaks on the sideline. Stout guarded by O'Neill. Gets the ball almost tipped away from by Meyer. It's a great effort, even though Meyer got called for the foul. Oh, that was a really good play defensively yet again from Taylor Meyer and Bryn O'Neill able to force Sammy Stout into a position and her ball gets turned over on the side. Bryn O'Neill acted in the lanes again, but she immediately turns the ball over on the other side. Man, oh man, Bryn O'Neill and Taylor Meyer stepping into this game causing troubles for the Cowboys defensively, though Joey, Joey Clements no good on her three. Sets up Bella Raider in this Bulldogs offense, currently with a 12-point lead. O'Neal with it now. Holds onto it, finds Meyer, who gives it to Raider now. Abilene switching back to a 3-2 zone now that Runnabom is off the court. As she looks, Madison Runnabom to check back in. Meyer gonna kick it over to Raider in the corner, who sets and fires her three. In it goes in, nothing but net. Bella Raider for three, her first one tonight. It's now a 29-14 lead for the Bulldogs. Stout tries to kick it up to Jenna Hayes. It's a one-on-one -on -one break, easy layup for Powell, and that one rattles in. Callie Powell with her first bucket tonight, as the Cowboys were able to dismantle that Big full court, full court press coming in from the Bulldogs. Meyer over to O'Neal now. Puts it back to Meyer. Meyer trying to find somebody open. One dribble and gonna pass it over to Raider. Raider driving aside into the paint. Had a lane but picks her dribble up and almost gets the ball knocked out. But Ashlyn Price is able to get it. 54 seconds left to go here in the third quarter. Meyer has the ball intercepted as she was trying to get it over to Bryn O'Neal but then Jenna Hayes loses control and it turns the ball over on the other side. 
And then a foul is called. Drew Clemens with the foul. What a bomb subs in as well as Lexi Barnes, as well as Grace Randles on the side of Abilene. Meyer, inbounds, finds Raider, almost has the ball intercepted by Stouts. It's over to Meyer now. Meyer trying to find something, passes into Haley Ingles, who's also subbed in on the side of the Bulldogs. Nice pop shot coming in on the side of Bella Raider. No good, but doing the dirty work is Madison Wunderbaum with another second chance opportunity, and she converts, getting an open basket again. 19 total points for her, though the foul is called on the other side by Taylor Meyer with the block. It's the third foul for Taylor Meyer. The fifth team foul for the Bulldogs tonight, as the first free throw is no good. Clara Danifer now subbing back in. Quick little NCKL scoreboard update. Lamigo girls currently lead Concordia at half, 32 to 12. That's a lone game currently going on in the NCKL tonight. Joy Clements now subbing back in for Abilene. As subbing out goes Alice Bathurst. Raider with the basketball now, looking to shake her defender being Joy Clements. Good screen coming in from Meyer. Bryn O'Neill now with the basketball, trying to find somewhere soft in the zone as Abilene went back to a 2-3 now that Madison Runnebaum has checked in. But Runnebaum is able to find a wide open spot and gets another basket. 21 points and that'll do it for the end of the third quarter. Madison Runnebaum just taking control of this basketball game. She has 21 points on the night leading everybody in the game. And now Marysville up 33-17 at the end of the third quarter. We have the deal we're looking for at RX Gutton. It is currently a 33-17 lead for your Marysville Bulldogs as McKenna Miniman misses the three-point attempt. And we're gonna get a travel call on the side of Abilene. So we'll turn the ball over and it's another opportunity for the Bulldogs who just exploded here in the second half with the 16-7 third quarter advantage over Abilene. Peschel now with her turnaround three-pointer air balls and no good. So a fall out of bounds. Inbound coming in now for Abilene. Trailing 33-17 with 7.28 left to go here in the fourth quarter. Hayes going to pass the ball and get it to Barnes, who is lucky almost to not get it stolen. Back to Sammy Stout over to Jenna Hayes. Hayes into a double team. Has to find somebody running out of time. Must find somebody who's able to do so the last second to Lexi Barnes. Barnes around the free throw line, kicks it. Here comes Joy Clements with her three and it rattles in. For Abilene, it's the first points on the night for Joy Clements. It's now a 13 point lead for Marysville, 33 to 20 over Abilene. As we're gonna get a turnover on the side, a push foul from Eva Peschel. So another opportunity for Abilene. Again, trailing by 13. Here in the fourth quarter, 6.54 left to go. Stout tries to drive past Miniman, can't do so. Now Barnes with the basketball, looking at a screen. Does get one from Danifer now. It's another screen from Hayes. Tries to find something going there, can't do so, just so dishes it off. Hayes gets the screen, doesn't take it from Stout. Driving it on Ashland twice, going up for the nice turnaround. No good, rebounded by Madison Runnebaum. Good play from either side on that possession. Offensively for Abilene, we're able to find somebody open and hold that foul. Ashland twice, three, no good. Rebounded by Rohrbaum, who goes up and draws the foul from Jenna Hayes. 
to go to the free throw line that she was about to continue up her score. Three for three from the line, 21 points for her. But as I was saying, good offense and defense last possession from either side as Abilene was trying to get something going offensively. Got a lot of good passes, found some open space, but then defensively, Marysville is just able to collapse turn the ball over and now looking to convert on the other side. First free throw is good from run -a bomb and then so is the second five for five. Tonight, 23 points for Madison run -a bomb And it's now a 15 point lead for Marysville with 6-11 left to go. The three coming in from Clements is no good and offensively rebound, but foul called on the side of Marysville. It was Eva Pesha is her second foul, but she gets called for it. And the sixth foul of the night for Marysville. They're getting close, excuse me, they are one away from the bonus. If they get to it, as a shot coming up from Danifer, no good, rebounded by Bathurst. And then the foul is called for Madison Runnebaum. So Alice Bathurst will go to the free throw line. So Abilene now into the bonus. Trailing 15 with six minutes left to go here in the fourth quarter as Bathurst's first free throw is good. One for one, she now has a total of six points. as a team high now, Rabbley. Nails the second one, two for two. Callie Powell now subbing in, and Bathurst now has seven total points on the side of Abilene. Run a bomb's able to get the ball into Pesha, who's looking to drive the tempo up. Running down the court, dishes it off to Schaefer, who has subbed back in for Marysville. Now driving baseline is Laney Schaefer into a double team. Able to find Eva Pesha for a wide open three, and it bounces off the front iron. No good, but rebounded on the side of Marysville, but the ball gets turned over. And here comes a wide open fast break opportunity on the side of Abilene, but the bad pass allows Eva Pesha to catch up and intercept it. So that opportunity is now gone for Abilene as a foul gets called on the side. Lexi Barnes, first foul of the night for Lexi Barnes. Samantha Stout subs back in for Abilene as well as Lexi Barnes. Pesha guarded by Stout, drive in the perimeter. Trying to find somebody, finds McKenna Miniman who has subbed in for Marysville. Running to paint goes Miniman. She to Peschel who now drives in. Nice, nice pop and shot coming in from Eva Peschel. No good. Rattles in and out. Rebounded by Callie Powell. Stout now with the basketball. He's driving on Miniman, but nobody's really been able to stop McKenna Miniman defensively and drive past him tonight as a shot from Jenna Hayes falls in. That is her second. That was her first point in this quarter. She's now five total points for Jenna Hayes. Price dishes it over to Peschel. Now four minutes left to go here in the game. It's an 11-point lead for Marysville. We're going to see what the call is. It'll be a foul. Lexi Barnes, a big substitution though coming in. Bruno Neal, Bella Raider, as well as Amy Ingles subbing in for Miniman. Lane Schaefer, Madison Runabot. Joy Clements now subbing in as well for Abilene. Trailing now by 11. 35-34 is the lead for Marysville with four minutes left to go here in the game. Peschel going to hand it off to Bella Raider. Now back to Ingles, who's trying to find somebody open. Peschel with the basketball now, picks her dribble up, and has to dish it. Raider, baseline. Driving in, finds Haley Ingles who goes for her shot and rattles in. Haley Ingles getting her first points on the night tonight. Extends the lead up for Marysville. As a foul is called, it will head to the free throw line. We'll take a quick breather though and bring you back more action. Here. Heading to the line to shoot one and one. KND Marysville currently up 37-24. Like most people, you're busy enjoying your life and taking care of it today as a priority. But it's a good idea to think about your future. Do you have enough income to enjoy a comfortable lifestyle down the road? Time flies, so it's never too soon to be able to get your future. Supercheck with your farm bureau agent to help make sure you're on track. 
Welcome back. It is still a 37-24 lead for Marysville. Sammy Stout with the basketball now. Looking to drive on Brill. O'Neill can't do so. But they're going to dish it down low into Jenna Hayes, who airballs the turnaround shot, rebounded by Bella Raider. 340 left to go in the game. A 37-24 lead for the Bulldogs. Raider driving inside, goes baseline, stops and pushes it back out to O'Neill, who then goes over to Ashland Price, but a timeout is being called by Bella, excuse me, by not Bella Raider, but by Amy Renier. So with that, we'll take a timeout as well and bring more coverage here on KTD1. 37-24, I want to thank again Nordis Motors, Kit Kafer and Busing, SNS Service, CJ Express and Temps Disposal for sponsoring tonight's basketball game as your Bulldogs currently up 37 to 24 over Applebee's. Madison Runabout subs back in for Ashland Price who goes to the bench. Raider with the basketball almost crosses up Sammy Stout. A good recover from Stout and Paul is going to get a foul called though. Oh my gosh. Jenna Hayes almost got the steal, but the foul is going to be called on Jenna Hayes. So we're in the bonus now for Marysville, and that means Haley Ingalls will shoot her first attempt tonight. Currently, two points on the night for Ingalls. And Haley Ingalls, when it comes to her free throw percentages, sitting at 75%. Makes that one, for one for one. Now three total points. The next one rattles in two for two. Four total points now on the night for Haley Ingalls. And Marysville lead is now 39-24. And Madison Runnebaum gets the steal and commits the turnover immediately to Jenna Hayes. Trying to find Taylor Meyer. And they're almost intercepted on the pass yet again defensively for Marysville. Showing great aggression in the passing lane, keeping the hands active. The timeout being called on the side of Abilene as Marysville's lead is now 39-24 with three minutes left to go here in the game. Both teams now in the bonus. Eight total fouls for Marysville, seven total on the side of Abilene. As Hayes inbounds the ball to Stout. Stout guarded by Gwyn O'Neill and gets the ball passed off her hands and then gets called for the charge anyway. Sammy South gets called for the charge foul as well as turning the basketball over. So if one goes from bad to worse, does so for Abilene. Meyer, guarded by Powell, gets immediately called for the double dribble then after getting the charge foul called. So back-to-back -back turnovers from either side as a deep court pass to Powell bounces off her hands. And it'll go out of bounds. Last touch by Ty Taylor Meyer. So it'll still stay for Abilene as they trail 39-24 in this basketball game. Finally, 14-point lead for Marysville. Powell trying to drive down. Meyer can't do so, has to dish it away, and the pass gets intercepted yet again by Madison Runnerbaum, who's keeping the hands active in the passing lane. That's really been the theme tonight on the side of Marysville, has been how active they have been in the passing lanes, trying to disrupt anything that Abilene does. O'Neill now with it, 2.23 left to go here in the game. Marysville still holding on to that 14-point lead. Pass to O'Neill, down low to Haley Eagles, who goes up and gets it. Her second basket of the night from the field. Six total points on the night. She can go two for two from the free throw line. And Meyer gets the pass stolen or steals the pass, excuse me, with Raider now shooting a three-pointer. And that bounces off the front iron. Rebounded by Sammy Stout. Another great show defensively coming in for Marysville to disrupt the pass. Just couldn't convert. The shot from Jenna Hayes off the back iron. No good. Rebounded by Haley Ingles. 142 left to go here in the game. 41-24 the lead for Marysville. Coast to coast goes Bella Raider and it rattles in. Bella Raider now with five total points going coast to coast.
to make it happen. Now it's a 43 to 24 lead and another turnover and steal coming in for Marysville. Bryn O'Neill there on the action. 19 point lead. For Marysville as here comes the end of the bench. Looking to get their first action tonight. Matty Cap, as well as Bryn O'Neill. See who else is going to get some action tonight. Katie Spurgeon's getting some action. Claire Holly's getting some action as well. As well as Matty Capps up again. Now with a minute 13 left to go in the lady of the game with the 19 point lead for Marysville. O'Neill with the basketball, passes it to Cap. In the left corner, back to O'Neill. And then passes it to Meyer. Meyer's guarded by Lexi Barnes. Meyer almost has the ball stolen, but she's able to regain it, control of it. 55 seconds left to go. 43-24 is the lead for Marysville. They're going to run the clock out here. Meyer is able to find Cap. Cap trying to get the ball away from her defender. Gets it poked out, but she's able to regain control. It was good defense coming in on the side of Alice Bathurst. But Meyer thinks about it and shoots the three, and it bounces off the back iron, but a great rebound coming in on the side of Caden Spurgeon. And here comes Abilene the other way. Pass it out, here comes Joy Clements with the three, and that rattles in, excuse me, Alice Bathurst. Alice Bathurst now with 10 points total on the night. And this will probably do it for the game as we finally get to the buzzer. Marysville starts the second half of their season off strong with a 43-27 win over Abilene. Let's take a quick little breather though and come back here to the second half action on KNT Wine. 